Welcome to House Pro. In today's tutorial, we'll guide you through our new bid management feature. The bid management feature will help you create bid requests, select your bidders, manage the bid submissions, and close bidding efficiently. To access bid management, click the projects icon in your left navigation and choose the project you want to work on. Then choose bids under the planning menu. Here you're going to see all bid requests, existing bids that you might need to edit, um, have the ability to duplicate and edit, as well as delete drafts or close previously released bids. First things first, let's create a new bid. Click the Create Bid Request button in the top right. Now we're going to want to name our bid request. Let's say that this one is plumbing. Now we're going to hit Create. And now you'll see that the bid request form has populated where you can fill out all the necessary details for this project. You're gonna to wanna to fill out the bid due date, the select, you wanna be able to select the relevant trades, you want to verify or edit the project site address, choose an estimated start date, and describe the scope of work. So let's go ahead and do that now. So let's say we want to get this bid back by the 19th. Yes, I wanna send a reminder the day before it's due. This is for a plumber. I'm going to choose that trade here. Project address is good to go. Um, let's say that the estimated start date is August 1st. So we're going to put that in. And now we want to give some details for the scope of work. So we're sending this to a plumber. So let's say, um, please price rough and trim for plumbing for the attached floor plans. Okay, let's pretend that's enough detail, but you could go into much more detail. You can see down here at the bottom, you have a few different options. You can make it bold, you can italicize things, underline, make a bulleted list or make a numbered list as well as add any links that you might need. Down here at the bottom is where you're gonna wanna add any attachments. So if you click attach files, you can um, simply upload files right here. So let's say I've already got these floor plans here. I want to attach those to this bid request and then you are good to go. So now when you're ready, you'll want to preview this just to make sure that everything looks like it's in tip top shape. And in the top right hand corner, you're gonna hit preview to see the final format of your bid request. You can kind of scroll through, you see, it's gonna tell you the date that it was sent, once it's sent, um, the bidder's contact information will appear there, and then all of the details below that will be relevant for the subcontractor to submit. Let's go back to edit, and I wanna show you another thing that's special. If you click the actions menu at the top right, you can also duplicate and edit or delete this big pa bid package entirely if you need to. So the next thing that we wanna do is send this bid request. So if you hit send bid request in the top right, you can choose from any of your existing um, subcontractors that you have on your list, as well as add new subcontractors. So let's say that we want to add a new one. We can do so here. You simply just enter in their email address, their company name, choose their trade, their phone number, provide any name details for the contact if you have it, and that sort of thing. I've gone ahead and added this new subcontractor here. So you'll see Rose Plumbing is right here on this list. So I'm going to check the box next to that company name, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit select and send. So we're gonna hit that here, and now you'll see that one bidder has been chosen. I've actually already sent to two in the past, you can see behind my screen, um, but at this point, we're sending it to one additional subcontractor. Um, it's letting you know that if you add a phone number, they will be notified via text message that you're waiting on a response for them um, as well. So then you're just going to want to hit send and then that is going to be sent into that subcontractor's email inbox. So I'm going to um, switch over to that email inbox so I can show you guys real quick. Let's check it out what that looks like. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like from the subcontractor's perspective. They're gonna see that Rose Construction invited you to um, to provide a bid for this specific project. So you'll see that it's got the submission due date, when the project is anticipated to start, as well as the scope of work. So what the subcontractor can do is just click to view the bid request and they'll see again what you saw earlier on the preview page. So this is what that looks like for your subcontractor. So they're gonna see that this bid request came from Rose Construction. It was for Rose Plumbing. 
You can see who it was prepared for. Um, it lets them know that you want it submitted before July 19th. Um, they're able to decline the request. Maybe they have too much work and don't have time. They can decline it from right here or they can choose to submit a bid. A bid. But everything that they need to access is gonna be right here for them. They can view the attachments so that they can look at those floor plans and make a price for you. Um, if you've requested bids, this one bid from multiple trades, they'll choose their trade type. Um, they can enter in their total, enter in any notes or what's included, what's not included. Like maybe this quote doesn't include heated floors in the bathroom. All of those things they can um, detail out right here. If they have an attachment, like maybe they have an initial invoice that they've created, they can also do that right here. So once they're done, they can just hit submit bid or choose to decline the request. There's also gonna be an activity stream down here at the bottom. So you'll be able to keep track of exactly what's going on throughout this bid process. All right, and now back to our bidder page. You can see that Rose Plumbing has sent in a bid. So the status has changed to bid received and the bid is for $15,000. You can simply click right here to view that bid. Um, and if you have multiple, you can kind of click through, open, view what their bid was, exactly what's included in it, as well as access that activity stream from here as well. So both sides will have access to that activity stream. You can see that my other two subcontractors that I sent it to have not submitted a bid, but that's okay. Um, we'll give them some more time. And then when you're ready, you can actually go in and award specific bids. And so let's say that this is the one that you wanna go with. You're just gonna click the three dots here at the end and choose award bid. So what that's gonna do is notify that subcontractor via email, let them know, hey, I'm choosing you to go do this project um, and I need you to be available on my anticipated start date to do work on this. So just hit confirm, they're gonna get that email and then bada bing, bada boom, you got your sub done. So you can see here it switches now to bid awarded and you can also see here in the top right under amount that the awarded amount was $15,000. When you're done and you're ready to close out this bid package, you just hit close bidding in the top right. At that point, nobody else will be able to submit bids and no additional edits can be made from then on. So just hit confirm and then your bid is successfully closed. So that's awesome, right? So now let's say that there's more bids going on and you kind of want to manage everything. So if you go back out to the main bids page, you'll see everything here. So if you have a plumbing one, you have an electrical one, you'll see all of that information in this table view. So you'll see how many people are bidding on this, how many responses you've gotten, what's the status, is the bidding closed, is it still open, and that sort of thing. So that's everything for now, guys. Um, we hope that you love our new bid management feature. And we thank you so much for using House Pro. We really hope that this is gonna help you navigate bids a little bit easier than the traditional way of text message, email, and the 10 different places that you can possibly receive a bid. If you need any detailed information, feel free to visit our help center or contact our support team for more information. Happy bidding.